सबल का मंगल गुरुवेरे जिस गुरुदेव ने भरम दिया है उनका मंगल गुरुवेरे पाला पोसा जन्म दिया माँ पिता का मंगल गुरुवेरे इस जगत के सब दुखियारे रानी का मंगल जल में फल में और गगन में सब का मंगल गुरे सब का मंगल गुरे सब का मंगल On behalf of the principal, members of staff, and your seniors, we extend a very warm welcome to all our dear students. The last few minutes have been momentous as we all came together seeking the well being of not just our loved ones, but also of the universe as a whole. This bleak period has left us with a lot of life lessons. We are no longer deterred by social distancing. We found our answers in virtual connections. And your class will definitely create history today as we begin our association virtually. As I speak about the digital world and online classes, I cannot help but look up to our director principal, Agnita Veerman. Veerman is at the helm of all the good things that happen in school. Her passion lies in her students, education, new ideas and innovation. She has won innumerable accolades, the most prestigious being the National Award for Teachers conferred by the Honorable President of India. She has been recognized globally for her immense contribution towards education for about three decades. Birman is loved by her students and teachers for her congeniality and humility. She is the quintessential leader who believes in creating a happy space for her students and teachers. I would like to invite Avnita Birman to share her thoughts with us. Thank you, Chitra. Uh, well, you know, this is not how we planned our first day of grade 11. You know, in the entire academic year, for me, grade 11, the first day, and when we do an orientation, has always been the most precious days and the most, uh, you know, looked forward to day for me. I've always sensed and felt the excitement of students uh, entering a second phase of their lives, a second phase of schooling in their lives, because grade 1 to 10 is one phase, and then 11 starts a new journey. And it's always been great to look at the expressions or rich large on the faces of uh, my students and to gauge, uh, you know, their uh, feelings at that point of time. And for me to uh, to be addressing you, uh, uh, even never, even though the, I'm such a technology enthusiast, but to address you like this on screen is a little bit uh, of a disappointment. But nevertheless, I, I still like to look at uh, life in a, you know, more uh, uh, reflective manner. And also that, you know, every uh, adversity has an underlying opportunity to learn, to grow. So, um, you know, um, Sitra Ma'am said that I, I like innovation. Actually, I'm, uh, I like to solve problems. And, and the city of Mumbai, uh, along with, uh, you know, being uh, well versed with a little bit of technology uh, has helped us to become good problem solvers you know so um, i'm a techno technology enthusiast not a technology expert so uh, you know I, I was just thinking about our journey in the school and way back in 2012 we had invited an international speaker to come to Mumbai and to do a conference uh, along with us. We were co-curating it and, um, you know, uh, address uh, all the school students of so many schools across the city, so many teachers and educators across the city. And it was a three-day conference uh, that we'd organized. And at the last minute, he was not able to come. 
and uh, you know we were in a fix because we'd sent out the invites we'd booked the venues and all of that and then uh, you know last minute we had to uh, you know uh, think of a solution so we used the uh, the first time ever we used something called the cisco webex okay and it was as if a whole new world opened up for us that it is not necessary that if some one door closes another door does not open it it does open so uh, you know we learned that we nothing was limiting us if if our minds were open so so that was my first brush with uh, the virtual space again in 2013 uh, i remember uh, you know we 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 have an annual event called uh, drishtikon it's actually a flagship initiative of our school where we where students present their drishtikon their perspective on different aspects of life and uh, you know so that year uh, and we we normally uh, do it uh, you know uh, in in a hall in an auditorium and that year i told my teacher my students we're going to do it um, uh, our we'll do a virtual uh, you know at that time it was called hangouts on air and we will do a google hangout on air and we'll invite the the guests from bangalore uh, online and we'll present on uh, on a hangout so the children were more surprised and disappointed and and my my uh, argument with them or my case with them was that uh, we have to try all kinds of media you know we have to see that maybe at one uh, at some point of time in your life you will have to give a Uh, an interview on screen so uh, and so how would you face it and they were of course it went off beautifully we had uh, a lot of challenges uh, a lot of learning that happened but it went off well and the children learned a new skill okay so um, at that point of time i never thought that in uh, a time will come when we'll have to run the entire school online so this is where we have Uh, reach today so you know uh, uh, i want to at this point of time stop and welcome all <laughs> our grade 11 uh, students from cbsc icsc state board uh, igcse board all of that i want to um, uh, say that you know i know you some of you have not finished all your exams uh, but that it's okay because yesterday somebody was asking me an india today journalist asked me Uh, so, uh, what is the message you have to give to those students who have been finished their board exams? And I said, you know, the whole world uh, is gripped in this situation. So, one of the good things is that we are not alone. We everybody is in it together. Okay. So we'll have to recalibrate. We'll have to, uh, you know, move into a. We'll have to transition into a new uh, phase, a new uh, model, a new world. Uh, and and it's up to us how we face it. So. Uh, nothing is lost if we if we are more reflective we we think and we are judicious and careful about the choices that we make so uh, and, and so children nothing to worry uh, life goes on this storm that has hit us will pass and at this point of time i'm going to invite i'm going to ask request sorry manish sir uh, to play you know you've heard of your harari and uh, what is his take on um, um on the on life uh, or the world after corona uh, uh, corona virus and uh, just a little bit i want to play that little audio uh, manish sir please this manish, will sir? pass but the choices we make now could change our lives for years to come you all know of hawari writing in financial times about the world after corona virus read by michael bot for curio Humankind is now facing a global crisis, perhaps the biggest crisis of our generation. The decisions people and governments take in the next few weeks will probably shape the world for years to come. They will shape not just our healthcare systems but also our economy, politics and culture. We must act quickly and decisively. We should also take into account the long-term consequences of our actions. When choosing between alternatives we should ask ourselves not only how to overcome the immediate threat but also what kind of world we will inhabit once the storm passes. Yes, the storm will pass, human kind will survive. Most of us will still be alive, but we will inhabit a different world. 
Many short-term emergency measures will become a fixture of life, that is, the nature of emergencies. They fast-forward historical processes. Decisions that in normal times could take years of generation are passed in a matter of hours. Immature and even dangerous technologies are pressed into service because the risks of doing nothing are bigger. Entire countries serve as guinea pigs in large-scale social experiments. What happens when everybody works from home and communicates only at a distance? What happens when entire schools and universities go online? In normal times, governments, businesses and educational boards would never agree to conduct such experiments. But these aren't normal times. In this time of crisis, we face two particularly important choices. The first is between totalitarian surveillance and citizen empowerment. The second is between nationalist isolation and global solidarity. Yeah, thanks, uh, Manisha. Yeah. So this like this yeah, thank you. So uh, this is just the uh, uh, you know beginning of a uh, almost a twenty-minute uh, uh, you know audio clip that I was listening to this morning, and I thought it was so. Uh, you know, appropriate to just remind ourselves as we start this journey, uh, an online journey that of, of learning, teaching, learning, um, and bonding. And, you know, so it's not just about uh, education, it's education goes beyond just teaching and learning. So uh, it's important to remind ourselves that this is this may be the new norm, the new normal. So, and in this new normal, how are we going to keep ourselves afloat? And I just thought that, you know, what will help us to keep afloat is the human bond. Uh, it is a human bond that will uh, give us support, a sense of reassurance that we are all in it together. So it is for the first time that the entire world is going through the same challenge. It's never happened like this before. Creating a kind of a level playing field. So it is up to us. How do we, how and where we want to transition from here? How do we want to recalibrate our lives uh, such that we are able to uh, change the way uh, life has been and, and the way we have been uh, hit by this calamity so that we don't go and make the same mistakes again? So uh, one of the uh, you know, studies that I've been doing recently was about uh, how do we make a decision to face life? So, and, and it said, Hope is a decision. You know, we never thought about hope as a decision. We say hope is a feeling, but actually hope is a decision that we take. So we can either choose in a time of ch in times of challenge, challenging situations, we can either, uh, you know, choose hope or we can choose despair. If we choose hope, we then have this whole uh, power that we are, you know, we have the power of the universe to uh, carry us forward. And, and to believe in it. And it is a determination to act upon uh, the situation which will propel us forward. And if we, actually, if we choose despair, that will actually make us feel powerless. So, uh, and nobody is powerless. So uh, my message to you is children, don't give up hope. Do not uh, you know, end up or do not resort or resor uh, you know, get into a state of despair, okay? A uh, closer home, okay, so I've always believed, like I said, that we've always felt that every challenge, every constraint, whether it is in our school, whether it's in the city of Mumbai, whether it's in the world, every constraint is actually an opportunity to become a better problem solver, a more creative person, and maybe an innovator if, uh, you know, you, uh, uh, you know, if you can take it to that level. I mean, of course, we're not innovators, but we we have that innovative bent of mind okay, and inclination. And what have we done for that? So uh, for those who have uh, been in the school, uh, you know, for some time would know this, but for all those who are new to the school, let me tell you just a little bit about RN Poda school and the culture that we have in our school. And I think uh, why we're able to, hi Neelam, um, good, good, nice to see you. Um, so the, the culture that we've tried to create, whether it is through our life skills classes or it is through our, you know, value addition program that we keep bringing in and, you know, constantly reinventing ourselves, constantly feeling the pulse of our children, feeling the pulse of the times and, and you know, uh, revisiting our approach towards children and towards education. Uh, so we've 
for that we needed to have to build a culture of fearlessness because when you want when you have to embrace change and for the longest time you know we've been talking about change as the change is uh, uncertain and change is unprecedented in today's times this is the for the first time you know we actually living that living what we've been saying about talking about change you know what we see what has happened to us in the last couple of months is actually unprecedented uh, and absolutely un, uh, uncertain because we don't know how long this is going to last we don't we didn't know it's going to happen okay so uh, a culture of fearlessness a culture of problem solving that you know if i want to achieve something i will do it i will achieve it okay uh, experimentation and for that and when you experiment yes there will be failures okay so when we started our journey with technology yes we we failed a certain a few times we got our hands dirty we picked ourselves up again and we moved forward okay so we constantly uh, you know uh, this repeated iteration you know the design thinking model actually at play so uh, and and if you have to build that culture of uh, fearlessness which we've we've consciously worked on in our school uh, i think what it required was for us to give freedom to our teachers to our, our students uh, to give them a voice to be able to experiment and try new ideas and but with that freedom we always uh, realized we always reiterated that uh, freedom has to come with responsibility there's an underlying responsibility uh when we talk about uh giving freedom okay uh a flexible uh, mindset an open mind and uh, you know towards uh you know uh, our policies our strategies which meant that we will not always be yes we will be consistent in in our goals but we will change when it uh, or we will change rules and policies and uh you know on laws whatever when it is required to be do so so we will be flexible yet we will be consistent okay so uh so there's a difference between uh flexibility and consistency okay so uh we've had many many uh first and because of this culture of trying out new ideas and uh and and you know not being straight jacketed and to continuously thinking that there's no box that's going to limit us so we've done we've had a lot of first in our school whether it is the uh, you know the life skills we were the first school to introduce that back in 2003 even before the world knew the term of term life skills um to build social emotional health in our children whether it was uh, the integrated program that uh, we initiated in our school looking at the concerns that children had uh, whether it's in terms of technology and use of technology not just as a frill uh, frill value not just for frill value but for um, you know because it made our processes um, you know efficient and effective uh, and for example what we are able to do today i mean you know so when when we were told that schools might close down might okay even even before they closed down we were we had got into the prep, you know the mode of okay so we have to uh, get ready for online teaching and learning okay and and it's were not just and remember children it's not online is not online this is remote learning this is actually uh, you know where we trying to look at not just a uh, uh, transacting and uh, you know an academic program but looking at your entire life uh, your as a student okay so replacing the school somehow so so far we were doing a blended model but now we have to have a completely online model where we we, we have to you know uh, work from home so or the flipped model uh, drishtikon these were some of our uh, you know um, uh very very uh, our first initiative we've been pioneers in this and uh, i look forward to going forward i don't know how how long and how this is going to pan out but i'm sure that with the support of the teachers and the students and the trust that parents have uh, in the school i mean you know we we didn't have to really wait for getting consent from parents because um, we know that we you know whatever we do uh we you know we, we have some non negotiables in terms of delivering but have keeping those non negotiables intact uh, we are going to move forward and we are going to try out new ideas because the world is going to not be the same every single day and we've seen that so with those few words i'm now going to hand you back to chitra ma'am 
and and once again welcome to grade 11 and just don't worry this is a new phase of life you're going to uh, evolve as human beings i wish we could meet face to face and i hope we will do so soon enough but uh, over to you chitra ma'am thank you thank you so much bilman for your insightful words and keeping our morale high now i would like to introduce you to our headmistress nitika bajaj ma'am nitika ma'am is a storehouse of creative ideas and likes to challenge her teachers and students to think out of the box she shares a special bond with each child and our students love to throng her cabin as your friend your mentor she will have a panacea to all your woes I would like to invite Nitika ma'am to say a few words to you all. Thank you Chitra ma'am. Good morning everyone and a warm welcome to our students. Every year when students enter grade 11 they do so with a lot of expectation and trepidation. I'm sure you're all really feeling this right now. This is also based on substantial precedents. However, this academic year as you all know is very exceptional over and above the first that you would have seen in the school environments first day of senior secondary section first day of a new stream first day of a new classroom first day of new teachers and it's a first for all today to be holding a distance orientation i'm certain you are beset with the anxiety of the unfinished exams an uneasiness that has gripped you about whether to move ahead in life when you are aware you will be asked to go back into the past for an unaccomplished task the students we are here to reassure you look around it's not just you all of us are in a quandary we are all confronted by this ageless question what will happen and no one is offering us certitudes uncertainty has become the new norm there's so much to complain about a missed exam a missed vacation missed meeting friends and social outings missed opportunities at prodigal shopping and yet amidst this confounding scenario there's one thing that we can all surely do brave the storm with dignity and count our blessings So let's so students let's just take a little time out to thank God for the very gift of life that he has blessed us with for the loving parents who sacrifice their lives in their in ways for our good affectionate teachers who make you feel important and treat you as your as their own kids committed non teaching staff who keep the school campus and classrooms for a better learning environment for your own classmates who make your schooling happy so there's so much to thank everyone for students let's train ourselves to look for the silver lining in every dreary situation it will be great if all of us pledge to subscribe to happiness and positivity students stay joyous and stay blessed god bless over to chitra ma'am thank you ma'am Uncertainty has become the new norm, as Mam said. Students, though you are enrolled with your preferred subjects, it is advisable to be aware of the avenues open for you in your further education. To assist you in making an informed choice, I would like to call upon our in-house counselor, Ashwati Padma Kumar, Mam. Thank you, Chitra, Mam. Good morning, students. I will be your go-to person for all your queries related to college admissions, choice of subjects, and career options. After the lockdown, once school resumes, feel free to drop by my office on the fifth floor next to the library during break or after school. Until then, you could drop in a mail. My email address is ashwati a s w a t h i at arunpudar school dot com. and schedule an appointment for a call some of you may be really confused about choosing the fifth subject don't worry pcm or pcb with english will take care of meeting all your eligibility criteria for any course that you choose to do so after your 12th right so the bread and butter is taken care of 
The fifth subject is the jam. So choose a subject based on your interest, on your aptitude and strength. Pick up a subject that you like, not because your best friend is going to be in that class. So introspect, reflect, and explore your options and make the right choice. Welcome, class of 2022. I look forward to interacting with you. Thank you. Over to Chitra, ma'am. Thank you, Ashwati, ma'am. One of the most important lessons we need to learn today is taking ownership of our digital lives. And as we rely heavily upon technology in the current situation, I would like to request Manish sir, our computer science teacher, to take us through some pertinent tips regarding its usage. Over to you, Manish sir. Thank you, Chitra ma'am. Uh, students, today when digital presence is more important in the digital world, let us go through how do we log in online and how do we uh, make our presence felt in the right manner online. So we shall be using Google Hangout Meets or Zoom to conduct these online sessions you would be receiving a message with the link for Hangout Meet or Zoom on your Google Classroom or on WhatsApp groups from your respective class teachers. Once you receive the link for Google Hangouts Meet, you click on Join Now, which will take you to the screen as shown here. I'm sure most of you have already downloaded the Meet app and are already using this for the session today. So I'll quickly run through some of the options that we have here. You can always choose to mute, unmute your mic as shown below. Uh, once the session is ended, you can end it by clicking on the red button. And you can also switch on or switch off your video by clicking on the video button. On the top right, you see there is an icon for chats. You can click on this to post any questions, queries, doubts you have to your teachers or to your fellow participants. A small word of caution here, while you're using chat, uh, please refrain from sending any personal messages. All right, let us make this session fruitful and relevant to whatever is being uh, conducted in the online session. On receiving the link for Zoom, uh, I'm sure you have already installed the Zoom app. So when you click on open Zoom, it will take you to the, it will start the Zoom app as shown. You can choose to join with video or without video, which can be changed later as seen on the screen. Again, option similar to the Meet uh, application. You can mute, unmute your mic. The video can be switched on or off. And similar to Meet, again, you have a chat window to pose your questions. Another request we have is when you join in Zoom, uh, please uh, join in with your respective full names and no nicknames so that we are able to identify you during the sessions correctly. Also, we shall be moderating all these sessions. These sessions will be recorded and uh, the co-teachers present in the session will request you to change your names and refrain from using any personal messages on chat. Now with digital presence, uh, let's go through some guidelines which we need to follow while we are undergoing these online sessions. The first is uh, to log in as soon as possible whenever you receive the link. A big thank you to all of you today. You've uh, managed to log in into the session 10 minutes earlier. So keep doing that for the forthcoming sessions as well. The next is, please keep your mics muted unless you are asked to speak or unless you have a question to ask to the teacher. Also try and engage and pay attention to whatever is being said online session so that you can make the maximum use out of it. Your teachers before the session starts would request you to be uh, ready with the reference books, the notebooks, all right, so be be present with all those required reference material. Parents, I'm sure, are present during this orientation as well. So I request all the parents to ensure that the ward logs in to the uh, online sessions and makes the maximum use of these according to the timetable shared. Thanking you again. Please uh, act responsibly in these times. And please help us to help you uh, deliver uh, fruitful online sessions. You may have queries with respect to uh, if any technical difficulties you face or any glitches. Please revert back to your class teachers any, with any such difficulties and we shall work together to resolve all of them. Thank you and a warm welcome to all of you.
Thank you so much, Manish sir, for those wonderful inputs and allaying a lot of doubts. And now, as we take you further through the school gallery, we would like to stop at the staff room, the hub of all activity. Your teachers are waiting to be introduced. They are the ones who will handhold you in the next two years until you're ready to leave our nest. And students, if you're unable to view the presentation, please click on Shamila presentation in the participants list. So beginning with the introduction, we have two life skills coaches, Neelam Kumar ma'am and Vandana ma'am. Neelam ma'am is the best selling author of eight books. She has incredible stories to narrate to her students as she takes them through important life skills lessons. Vandana Ma'am's yoga and meditation sessions are enjoyed by the students. She brings in a lot of vibrancy into her classes. And now, over to you, department heads. Good morning, students. Hello? Yes. Hello. We can hear Good you, sir. Yeah, yeah. G, 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 ma'am. Good morning, students. I am Kul Prasad Gurung. I am the head of the Department of Physics. I am the international faculty over here. In my department, we have Kavita, ma'am. She is cheerful and dedicated teacher. She is good at developing a rapport with students, colleagues, and parents. We have Rishma, ma'am. She is calm, patient, very experienced with performing projects. We have Rahul sir, very polite, who brings new exciting ideas in his teaching, which adds life to the subject. So this is my sir, department. We wish you a very successful academic year, full of fun and learning. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning, students. A hearty welcome to all of you. Let me introduce you to the chemistry faculty. Anjali ma'am, she is known as the encyclopedia of chemistry knowledge. Fatma ma'am, she is energetic, full of humor, master of gram grammatics. In every school event, she takes the center stage. Drishti ma'am, known for her calm, composed and wise nature. Guiding students with love and practical knowledge. This is me, Zija Rizvi, heading the chemistry department. We all teachers are eager to meet you and teach you. Thank you so much. All the best. Good morning, students. I am Zija, head of the department of maths. Also head examiner of CBSE board, Mumbai Zone. I might seem harsh and rude from outside, but feel free to approach me for even your minutest doubts. Now I introduce to you the supporting pillars of my department. Mrs. Ruba Mahajan, she is the most dedicated, hardworking and jovial person in my department. Mr. Rajneesh, the youngest and energetic teacher. Mr. Neeraj Kandelwal, the sweetest person to make you learn maths. Students, maths is a lovely subject. If you love maths, it will love you back. Thank you. Good morning, students. My name is Padma Oti. I am the head of the department of biology department. And Ms. Merlin DeCosta is your other biology teacher. We cordially welcome you to all to Arun Poda School. I know we are, you are, people are excited to join the school and get to know about your teachers and classmates. We are also equally excited to see you in classrooms and our laboratory. God bless you all and all the best. Uh, good morning again. That's me, Manish. I spoke to you earlier. Uh, I'm working with the computer science department. With a few years experience in the IT industry, I bring try to bring uh, real hands-on industry experience onto the programming experience we'll go through. Uh, ABI assisted with my team member, Shamila ma'am. Along with programming, she also takes care of all the wonderful videos, audios, presentations for me. 
Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is Eco Department with a team of three members. Lakshmi ma'am with 15 plus years of experience, our equally faithful Siddhi ma'am, and myself Satinder with 10 plus years of experience and also head of the department. Be it coronavirus or demonetization, there is always some amount of economics in all the activities happening around us. So stay tuned for eco classes to know more about it. Uh, good morning, students. Um, I'm Mrs. Lena Zaveri, pitched uh, as Lena Gupta. Okay, I will be your uh, psychology teacher. I'm all alone in my department, so all your queries, all your doubts related to the subject will be um, dealt by me. Welcome to Arun Buddha School for the new academic session. Thank you. Uh, good morning, students. This is uh, Sachin Pandya. I'll be teaching you engineering graphics. And hope to see you soon in my class. Thank you. Good morning, students. A very warm welcome to grade 11 at Arun Prodar School. My name is Neha Raizada, and I'm the head of English department. You will find me in the middle of scripts, auditions, events, and loads of drama on and off the stage throughout the year. Now I would like to introduce my lovely department to you. Ms. Nitika Bajaj, our headmistress, is the conscious keeper of the section. Her interactions will surely force students to go back to their dictionaries. Ms. Chitra Mathur is a very sweet coordinator. Her superpower is her ability to solve every possible problem while finding a heroic reference in her own life. Ms. Shaila Nair is our second coordinator. She is the quintessential maternal figure of our department and school, and the only one who can work minus the histrionics. Dr. Indrani Desai is adored by the student fraternity because of her generous marking and forever cheerful temperament. Some of us have earned the reputation of Cruella when compared to her kindness during evaluation. Miss Monica is the energy bundle of our department who loves to dance and surprise us with her quirky ideas. She will also take sociology for grade 11. Shamila Ma'am teaches political science and computer science. Her feisty uh, uh, debates and discussions have the computers in our classrooms wonderstruck. We hope to collaborate and have a super fun and enriching two years ahead. All the best. See you all very soon. Uh, Thank you. Over to you, Chitra Ma'am. Thank you, teachers, for that wonderful introduction. Children, it's not just the teachers. Your seniors have also been waiting here for your arrival as much. They are an immensely talented class, as we have had glimpses of some of their brilliant work during this period of confinement. And now, we are raring to welcome you. So over to you, Anurag. Good morning, Beer Ma'am, Nitika Ma'am, teachers, and the newest additions to the RN Pada School fraternity. I am Anura Kumar Nayar of Class 12G, and I, along with all of my batchmates, would like to congratulate our juniors in successfully surviving the grueling tires, trials of the 10th grade board examinations. Trust me, we empathize. But we would also like to congratulate you in beginning your journey into the 11th and the 12th standards. I'm sure you all are in a celebratory mood or would have been if not for this tiny matter that is this life threatening global pandemic. I'm sure many of you don't know each other. Many have come from different schools. I'm here to put your fears to rest. I too last year was quite vexed as most of you are now, but it was these very fears that motivated me and spurred me to form camaraderie amongst my classmates and make new friends. Friends with whom I share memories to last a lifetime. I can assure you, however, that the very moment you step inside the gates of RN Poda school, you will feel at home. There is never a dull moment in this school. Beer ma'am, Nitika ma'am, and all the teachers and department heads are always there for you and also help foster a congenial atmosphere. You will find many opportunities that will help nurture a system of teamwork, 
trust, and offers all the tools you need to grow and develop as a mature individual. So everyone, I would just like to end my speech by saying that all your seniors and teachers are here to help you to start this new chapter at RN Poda School. Thank you. Thank you, Anurag, and I'm sure they are relieved after hearing you. And now we have Suraj from grade 12. Good morning, everyone. I'm sure this isn't a regular way of your first interaction with uh, the administration and our, our students, but uh, the ongoing crisis is just another adversity we'll overcome. We've done a lot of this previously as well. Personally, being a student of Podar for uh, 11 years, I've constantly been taught to take up any challenge with a smile because that's how we run things here and it's always worked. For those that have been with Pudar before the 11th grade, I'm sure you're familiar with the air of comfort that has been a priority of the school for long. The administration has always believed that to inculcate what is taught, it is of utmost importance. The student feels relaxed in a classroom and Podar has maintained that promise for a very long time, continuing to do so flawlessly. For those who are new to our school, we, the students, welcome you with great pleasure and hope you will have a wonderful time for the next two years, owing to the extraordinary effort taken by every one of our teachers to ensure that we continue to learn and have a blast doing so. The seniors of class 12 wish to provide you a very warm welcome to class 11th. Fasten your seat belts, sit back, and experience what will undoubtedly be one of your finest schooling years yet. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Suraj. So we already, already have a surprise performance by our grade 12 students for you. Sit back and enjoy it. Welcome to Kudar, ain't nobody capping here. Welcome to Kudar, we all gonna win here. Welcome to Kudar, no bad stuff happen here. Welcome to Kudar, we're all a team here. We're all a team here, there's nothing here to fear. Cash with fighters makes us cheer, we got cheap great seniors. We give and take your respect, you do wrong, we might even forget. You will again and then expel, I promise you'll be a great fairer. Struggle, I do anyway. Hustle, I don't even care. Muscle up your brain, begin to out with a smile and face. So that was added for you. Yeah. And dear students, your class teachers also have something waiting for you. Please log in, in with the link they share in your class groups in a short while. Meanwhile, stay with us. And as we sign off for today, we look forward to meeting you again tomorrow. Till then, from the entire Aran Pudar family, stay blessed and be safe. And now please rise for the national anthem. Yes, ma'am. I uh, just want to say to the children that uh, I did mention that uh, student voice is a very big thing for us in school. And, you know, we've had this one way uh, talk just now. But rest assured that we are going to interact. And please feel free. Voice can be 
in any form so please write in to us please uh, whatever you are feeling whatever your first day was like i mean i normally like to ask children to say would would quick somebody quickly uh, i can see kashvi kashvi batha can you just quickly unmute yourself and say just a little bit about how you feeling kashvi batha batha no i cannot read the full surname yeah kashvi kashvi can you hear me Uh, okay okay so anushka you can speak somebody sent a message hi uh, that yeah. was me anushka yes, yes. yeah yeah okay so um i'm actually from bombay scottish powai and yeah. um, i am part of the icsc board so yeah you know what you said about uh, having that flexibility for the uh, for the other four exams that actually resonated with me quite well because i have been panic uh, i've been on full panic mode yes. panic with the pandemic yeah um yeah. that's happening and i think a lot of us are feeling the same yeah. i mean this is a very weird way to start 11th standard yeah and i know very different these way are, to start 11th standard these are crazy times yeah these are crazy but i've heard yeah, yeah i've heard a lot about the school and you are very inspiring you you've been a very inspiring headmistress i've seen you in the sorry i've seen you in the papers a lot and wow i'm actually thank you uh, <laughs> uh, i just want to tell you and for this for all the icsc children and uh, that you know when when you write the rest of your exams you will have you will be writing from two schools and you will have two sets of teachers backing you okay so <laughs> yeah. just just remember that we are all there with you thank you ma'am thank you thank, thank you everyone you. and we'll have more conversations okay carrying on all right thank you chitra we'll wind up thank yes. you ma'am yes ma thank you dear students for joining us thank you ma'am Dangerous. But they said that in the class, I'm sure yeah, to keep a. Yeah, you have to put uh, the the name is it's in your name, but what is? Google Hangouts. I'm going to call someone.